What's going on, guys? It's Daniel the Hitman, and I got my tongue back. Almost. I think we're at 50% right now. Just need more pickles. So, we are going to do Kendo. Ow. Ow. We're going to do Kendo versus Bacon again. So, this time I am going to show you uh, right there. I'm going to show you what's inside. Anyway, so this is Cotton Bacon Prime. <clears throat> Tough, tougher bag to open. So it just comes in uh, a bunch of little sticks. Uh, take this all out. So see, they come in little bunches of sticks. That's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, they're easier to wick in the aspect that they're tougher and more durable. Uh, but they definitely, you have to drip, I would say, almost twice as much uh, because they uh, dry out pretty quickly. Uh, I will say they do last longer because they dry out quicker. <laughs> the chair makes fart sounds. Anyways, so they definitely dry out quicker in that aspect uh, on the back it says our goal is to provide the most cutting edge cleanest and easy to use cotton wick cotton bacon prime outperforms in all areas of wicking providing 33 percent faster absorption uh, easier separation and as always free of impurities natural oils pesticides and completely tasteless and then it says wick and vape it says not actually bacon do not ingest do not use as medical setting or situation uh, it's uh, in Boise, Idaho. Wickandvape.com is their website. And on the front has that nice logo. Pretty cool. So uh, it is 0 0.35 ounces, 10 grams, and uh, I guess you get about 10 pieces of cotton in there. Now, when I did use this, I, I would say the flavor is less, but my mouth uh, or my tongue was going through Vapor's tongue, so I'm going to have to tell you that in the future. I'll probably make a part three uh, where I talk about Wiccan and uh, other stuff and maybe just mention it in a vlog or something like that. So definitely the pros about this are kind of, I mean, the pro is it dries quick, quickly which might be a pro, that way you don't have a lot of wet cotton that is, you know, dries, you know, wickle dry, wickle That makes the cotton last longer, in my opinion. Uh, it comes in pre-made sticks, which is cool. They're all cut the length, essentially, so you just kind of peel off a piece, roll it up, cut it in the middle, and good to go with wicking. Uh, so it's definitely easy, and it's tough, really tough. I mean, this bag is tough as well. I mean, it's hard to open, as you see. Uh, so uh, those are the pros and cons. Is definitely that you have to, the same as a pro, you have to constantly drip. Does mean it lasts longer, what yada yada yada. But you have to constantly drip or squawk. Uh, another con is that, um, or another pro is it's very durable, very hard to break. But that could also be a con because it's harder to cut, uh, harder to peel apart. Uh, uh, also, I don't know if it's as pure and as clean as this. Doesn't anywhere say it's organic. Uh, I mean, am I missing something? It doesn't say organic anywhere whatsoever. It just says free of impurities, natural oils, pesticides, and completely tasteless. Uh, which is not true. You can taste cotton. You have to burn it off. But it doesn't say organic or anything of that nature any there, any, anywhere. Uh, whereas the Kendo, it says it's 100% organic, unbleached, heat resistant, odorless, low taste retention, easy to wick, superior absorption, two times longer last and ready to use, no boiling needed. You know what I mean? Versus it doesn't say any of that. It just says it's free of impurities. So on to the Kendo. Now this one I like. I know it's in strips, but this is a pro to me. When you do get it, oh, this is the old one. Let's get the new one. So let's close it up. Before I open it, show you more in depth, you know. I would have preferred if they made those vapes, like they were certified in with vapes, but whatever. 
This is the gold edition. I've never seen any other ones. Then on the back, I'll read all that in a second. There's a lot of stuff compared to the bacon. So anyways, I'll read it, and then I'll pull it out and show you. So it says, Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. Scan this code, blah, blah, blah. It says, Premium Quality, Cultivated in Japan, approximately 47 inches, 1.2 meters. This is the one that has 20% more. I've never seen any one that doesn't have that. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much all on the front, as you can see. Let me just keep this up here. And then I'll read it to you. All right, well, how about let's read it together? You might not be able to see it, but so be it. Kendo Vape cotton is 100% organic, cultivated Japanese cotton specific, specially selected for vapors. It is heat resistant property, makes it two times strong, longer lasting and, than ordinary cotton. It's excellent e-liquid absorption. It allows vapors to do long pulls at high wattages without cotton going dry. Very true. Kendo Vape Cotton is healthier choice of vape cotton for vapors as it is organic, tasteless, odorless, pesticide free, and no bleach and agent being used. It is always ready to use and no boiling needed. Kendo Vape Cotton is also tested and certified as pesticide free product which only contains natural substances. Then it says the same stuff that I told you, heat resist, blah blah blah. It says it even has directions, which is cool. Fill the cotton into the coil, prime and soak the cotton with e juice by nudging, painting with the tip of the dropper. Fire your mind for two to three seconds. Prime your cotton again. Enjoy vaping. It says important this product is for the use of e cigarettes only. While every effort is made to ensure the information given is accurate, Kendo Vape Cotton does not accept liability for any errors or mistakes which arise specifications and other information in this document may be subject to change without notice the entire risk as to the results and performance of the product is assumed by the consumer which i mean let's be honest they got to have that because you're having a heating element with batteries and shit and then it says kendovapecotton.com kendovapecotton for facebook at kendovapecotton for instagram vape safe vape healthy vape with kendo vape cotton so Let's go to the pros and cons after I show you what's inside. And this, I mean, people like the bacon because it's like cut in strips. I like this much better. This is, I should have shown you this. Nick was right. So it, I've already used some, as you can see. Now, I've made, this is one, but I've made, I think, four wicks out of one roll. So the roll here is pretty thick and so it's basically a snake and uh, yeah it's pretty cool in my opinion it's softer I don't know if that matters uh, uh, easy to mold and it's just a snake long snake okay so you can kind of roll it up it kind of snakes up. It's uh, definitely a lot. Let's go over the pros now after I put this inside because it's going to make a lot of sounds. Alright. Oh, whoops. Alright, so finally I'm going to do pros and cons and then uh, for the part three, I, or maybe I'll just do it right now as I'm going to compare them and why, well, maybe I'll do a part three because I want to make this kind of quicker of a video. So the pros about this is A, you get a ton more, uh, you get a ton, you get fucking 1.2 meters. Uh, it's softer, uh, which means it's easier to rip, which is a con, but that also makes it easier to wick. Actually, we'll probably just do the comparison now. We'll probably make a part three, though. Uh, maybe uh, put this against someone. So, the reason why I like Kendo better, and I do like the bacon, it's just, um, I feel like you get, even with Vapor's Tongue, I get more flavor off this. So, in my opinion, it is a little bit more difficult to wick because if you don't wick it correctly, it does rip, and that's very frustrating. And then essentially, you can kind of ball them up, but it doesn't work. 
so you can waste a lot of uh, cotton that way. Uh, but I get more flavor, and if you drop five drops, it's going to last way longer than bacon. Just it is. Bacon, if you put five drops, you'll probably get a couple of hits. Put five drops on here, you can probably vape it until it starts on fire. Like it's ridiculous how much you get. Uh, put it in perspective. I have been hitting this approximately 30 times, and this is a fresh wick. And you can't really tell. Well, you can kind of see it's still wet, and it takes a uber when you first drop and saturate the co uh, the cotton at the beginning uh, or at the end of just freshly wicking. It takes forever for the cotton to dry out to re drip. It takes forever. I've been hitting this at least 30 times. And you're still getting that uh, spit back. It's so wet that it's just, it spits back. And uh, it just, in my opinion, it, there's, it, there's more pros. The only con is it's not really durable. It's easily ripped. If you, you, you adjust to it. But the pros just outweigh it, the bacon so much. I mean, everything they tell you that it's even heat resistant, odorless, low taste retention, yada yada yada. Uh, there's just more stuff on here. It also has the direction to use. Uh, it tells you all about it. Uh, you get more, in my opinion. You get way more. I mean, I don't know if that's a fact. Uh, doesn't really have ounces on here. It just says you know inches and meters on there it says you know grams and uh, ounces uh, but I feel like you get more use out of this um, it's tastes better uh, in my opinion it's easier to wick because it is soft so it's easier to kind of roll and mesh around uh, it's also very easy to you know I've cut off one uh, about you know three inch bar or stick and I've split it four times and I have one wick left. So you get more out of the bang of the buck. Whereas for cotton, I feel like, or prime, uh, I feel like you waste a lot of cotton or you just, uh, it's, it's just a better cotton. <laughs> Easier to whip, better flavor, lasts longer, doesn't dry as quick. Uh, I will say this, that it is, this is durable. So if you're just beginning, to wick, I would start off with this just because it's more forgiven. This will not forgive you. This is an angry ex girlfriend and it will never forgive you. If you make one mistake and make it too big, when you go to pull it through, if that coil says no, you're gonna pull the cotton into two pieces. But you easily will learn. It's also easier to split up and mold than uh, bacon. But that's why this is my favorite one. I am gonna order more bacon. I'm looking into those ones that are already rolled and you kind of slip through and then I also want to uh, get tough Texas tough cotton and then what is it drag go cotton I think it is but they're harder to find um, and then I tried to order on eBay and for some reason it wouldn't let me order so that's that that is kendo vape cotton versus cotton bacon prime I haven't tried the regular but that's prime so I'm assuming it would be better but that's why I like this one better. I don't hate bacon, uh, but I just think this is better for my needs. I'm pretty sure this is more of a cloud chaser. That's a pro for that, or a con. Whereas this is definitely a flavor chaser. Not as much clouds, but you still get good clouds. I mean, that's pretty good clouds, but the flavor is way better in my opinion, lasts longer, durable. So I would say for a pro flavor chasing, RDA loving, go with this. I would say maybe if you're like a squonker or an RTA, I would go with this and also a beginner. If you're a beginner, start with this because it's going to forgive you more. You're going to be able to pull it back out. All right, take a little off kind of dealio. So this is probably the best for beginners. Uh, I've been starting off with this, so it was very tough to learn. If you look at this one, let's just pull this out to show you before I end this video. Look at all the mistakes I made.
that's a lot of mistakes. Uh, also, that's extra clippings. I always try to see if it retains uh, back to normalcy. It doesn't, but a lot of times with those extra strips that you actually ripped through or you pulled off and just threw to the side, you can actually still wick it. Uh, with the cotton bacon, I don't know yet, but we'll find out. But anyways, that's Kendo Vape Cotton versus Bacon, what is it? Is it Bacon Prime? Cotton Bacon Prime. Anyways, one more rip. I got my local Vapor Theory e-juice here. Pretty badass bottle. It's called Chaos. And it is a strawberry uh, waffle cream cereal. I don't know. It's fucking amazing. It's Chaos. Anyways, where'd you go? There you are. I'm going to do a review and maybe a live stream. I don't know. Probably more reviews because I got a lot of juice to catch up on. Anyways, thank you for viewing. Please like and subscribe the whole nine yards. Share with your mother. Share with your cat. Share with the dog. Share with the bat. Just don't take the bat to your phone. Anyways, y'all have a good night. Happy Monday. Uh, I will do, an, well, quick update. I have coils coming in. I have some more uh, killer custard strawberry coming in. 100 milliliters that I got from Vape Society Supply. All the links that I use are down below. Along with my promo codes to Vape Box and my promo code to uh, Sample Box. I am going to do more research for all my Canadian friends that need to find stuff and my UK friends. I posted a link on the vaping forum uh, to a UK based vape box, sample box kind of thing. It's called Vape A Box. So if you're a UK viewer, check them out. Uh, they do the same thing as Vape Box Juice and you can get just juice or you can get juice and mods. So it's pretty good. I haven't tried it out. I'm not going to try it out because I have American based. No offense, but like why would I pay more when I can get it in America and it would be quicker shipping, cheaper shipping, and just, yeah, I, I don't have to add my nicotine or anything like that, sorry UK, but as long as you got the juice going and you're not on those sticks, that's all it is, don't be a dick, that might be a new thing, anyways, see you soon, gonna do some more reviews, that was pathetic. See you soon.